been to our next story, a Dubai parent says, please stop excessive honking on the school run. This is a note from one parent on the school run. So parent moments on Instagram uh, shared a post and it read, adults and parents, everyone needs to drop off or pick up their children from school. So let's be more mindful where we park our cars. Stop honking when there are like 10 cars ahead of you. Stop double parking and stop leaving your car midway to pick up your child. That's what people are doing. Can you imagine? Uh, that's, that must be very, I'd say, frustrating. She as well added, this is a social responsibility. It's crucial for us adults and parents to be mindful of our actions during drop-offs and as well pickups. Our children are watching us and learning and I couldn't agree more on that. True, I think it, it's interesting because she touches on the topics of double parking mm-hmm. and the honking, but when we shared the post, a lot of people jumped into the topic of school buses and should we lean toward, more towards school buses? I think there was a lot of campaigns at the top of the year, basically, um, you know, announcing, you know, how safe they are and uh, basically trying to make it, I think, more agreeable for parents to put their kids on buses. But clearly it's not happening because the traffic has... multiplied mm, that's true in many many forms it's like the traffic has just gone wild since the beginning of the year so and that's since school started so there aren't enough kids in school buses to reduce traffic yet i agree with you but um as uh, because i remember like what ha- the reason why parents do not put their kids i would assume according to my situation um in school buses is because sometimes school buses can be very expensive and mm. if let's say like a parent has like two two or more kids, it might get really expensive. Uh, back then when I was like at school, um, initially the school bus for a child would be 3,000. And my dad was like, fine, that's fine. You know, it's better for me. It's it's more convenient. But then they doubled the price. Doubled it? Doubled it to 6,000 wow. per child. And my dad was like, no, I'll, I'll drop you guys. Yeah, I'll drop And you. And that is understandable. But as well, you know, like the reason why all of these campaigns are actually happening Um, to motivate uh, or maybe push parents to have their kids go and uh, commute through the school buses because it would be easier for everyone and the traffic would be less and so on. However, the lady is right. Like, you know, the uh, the children are watching us and their minds are like sponges. So when you are like honking and you're being very angry, they're absorbing that. Yeah, yeah, so true. Um, it, I agree with you on the buses that if it's expensive, then it's something that parents would definitely second guess. Can anyone, if any parent is watching, how much it's costing your kids on the school bus, whether you've chosen the school bus or t- to school bus or not to bus? Um, another reason uh, could be the length of time the kids are on school buses because it's, uh, especially if you live quite far from the school, mm. you could be the first pick up at about 6.30 and then you and then you get to school on time and then you have to wait for the rest of the kids to arrive. So mm. sometimes it's, it could be, you know, two hours mm. from school to class starting, which is quite a lot um, for for the sure. youngies. Um, so then it's like, okay, well, maybe potentially look at even getting like a driver situation, adding a, another car to the road. I agree I'm with sure you, by the way, because like... Um, uh, yeah. Back home in Hashem. Egypt, my school, if I would take a cab to my school, I would reach in 10 minutes. Okay, but if I take the bus, I'll be the first one to be on it at 6.30 and I arrive at 8. Oh. Mm. So I would wait my mom to leave off to work and tell her, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll pick up the bus, then I'll take a cab so I could just get an hour extra sleep. Oh, cheeky. Um, that's an extra hour and a half on the bus for a 10-minute journey? Because it was like this? Uh, because the bus had this route. Yeah. So he starts where I live and then picks everyone else. closer to the school and if I just take a cab it's just 10 minutes I imagine if you got school buses to show their routes to parents I think parents would think no thank you because it's you have to go through all the communities and it's a busy time on the road I mean yeah I I understand that but sometimes like um, I used to by the way be like Hisham uh, my bus would pick me up the first and then we would go because like I used to like live at the end of Sharjah near Dubai And however, my school, like initially before I moved to an American curriculum, mm. used to be like towards the end of Sharjah, the end, end, end of Sharjah. And it used to like pick me up the first as well. However, I used to find a seat to sit wherever I want to. 
because you were there on first. Yeah. And you know they've had these new, um, the new announcements that they don't want kids using their devices on the buses oh, so yeah. kids interact, which I think is amazing because yeah. like the last thing you want is your child staring at a, uh, at a screen at a screen for that entire time. Oh. I mean, I agree with that. I love that for kids because like, back when I was like, younger, um, we were not allowed at any cost. to have a mobile phone with us, even if we're not using it during school hours. Mm. And of course, like the only um, way of communication is, you know, like talking to our friends and having fun with our friends and uh, during the school bus, uh, like whether we're going to school or coming back mm-hmm. from school, like singing, having fun. Yeah, um, exactly. You know, enjoying our time. 100%. However, I agree with that. I, I love that. I, I love that decision because then it's allowing the kids to <clears throat> stay away from, um, like, from the uh, screen, mm-hmm. right? And maybe because, like, I read a study that kids um, of this age, they're not going to be as, I would say, um, smart in social settings because all that they know is staying actually on their phone and they don't know how to actually actually interact with um, a, like a one-on-one conversation. Yeah. Yeah, it's so, so it's interesting. Cool. And it'll be interesting to see how schools move forward with devices, questions of whether they are allowed or not. They should not be allowed. Why is it fair? Like, I, I don't understand. Because I, I remember, like... Because you example, need to learn how to use technology. Yeah, but, like, for example, like, I, we were, like, I knew how to use technology, right? However, at school, they would literally come and check our bags if we have a phone or not. Mm-hmm. And even if you're not using it, even if you're not using it, even if I want to have, like, my phone there in case of emergency, if, in case I want to call my mom, or, like, I'm having, like, a stomach ache, I had to go through a process. I had to mm. go to the um, supervisor and then go through the... Uh, what comes higher than the supervisor? Principal? Yeah, the principal. Oh, wow. Literally. And then the principal would let me call my mom... No, would let me go to the nurse, and then the nurse would let me call my mom. Why? Just, I have a phone. <laughs> Times are changing and um, 